What's going on guys, I'm Illidan Sunbee here, and today I'm bringing you a review video of, um, Disney's, or Lego's Disney, um, General Grievous. Um, I've just recently acquired him and had a while to sort of play with him, if you want to put it that way. Um, so I'm going to go over the basic, basics of him, and then I will point out design flaws and what's really totally cool about this guy. So, first off, just kind of the basics here. He's got, the set came with four of his, basically, I guess you could call them lightsabers. Um, uh, two, two blue, two green. Um, which is actually really kind of cool because they didn't skimp on, well, lightsabers. There are a, kind of a special... Um, element of Lego currently. Um, I've seen them in a couple other sets, but um, not like a lot of sets. And so that's just a blade right there, and then it comes with this little hilt, which is really kind of cool. I apologize for the camera; it's not auto doing, it's not auto functioning right now. So that just clips in there like that. Press the camera. All right. Okay, so what he did, what they did really well was his ability to um, clip his arms together. So I'm just going to remove his lightsabers here. Let's get this other one. Okay, so now that we removed him, you'll notice there is a Lego Technic connector right there. And that gives us the ability to turn his arms up on end like this. And they click together. So his arm is functional in kind of both forms. It's actually really kind of nice. And it does it for both. Just like that. The one feature I did not really appreciate about this set was this right in here. A little ball joint right there. Alright, we will return with this. I gotta go charge the camera. It's running on a little battery. So I will be back. And we are back. I put a new battery in this thing. And we are ready to go. Okay, so we were just going over his design flaws currently. One in his arm back here is what they did is they tried to make it multi-flexible. So they did one part of his arm two-jointed right here. And another part of his arm just one-jointed. So if you bend it a certain way, it will pop off. Let's see if I can do that really quick. So say you're trying to, like raise his arm or something it won't go much past there or something like that his so the moving on now his other design flaw is what they screwed up on I guess you could say not offending anybody or anything but this right here it makes his legs not very flexible so it won't go well just say it won't go much past about here if it goes much past there, there's a joint right there that causes his basically his entire leg assembly to pop out. And it just did it again. They did this on the Lego Hero Factory Witch Doctor because Witch Doctor was such kind of a really large kind of set. They kind of did the oh, let's do some really confusing stability for our people and that's just what they did right here um, the other thing is pretty much the only parts on his leg that move are his hip his knee and his ankle um, which is okay but they should have done something flexible right here instead they used a nine um, nine stud technic beam and then Two Hero Factory arm and leg parts, and it can only go so many degrees. 
without actually breaking. Which I thought was kind of sad. Because they could have done so much more with this set. So he stands about 30, 31 inches tall. So he's real, he's a big set. He's very nice as a set. The other design flaws that I have found out um, were this up here. They made his um, shoulder blade rotate or something. So it's like a pivot. It's like a shoulder blade in a human. That's what they're kind of mimicking here. They kind of did the shoulder blade thing on both his arms so they can go back and forth. Just like that. But that, that was also another really s silly flaw or stupid flaw or whatever you want to call it that they did. Which was kind of a shame because they could have done so much more with this set. Like, way more. So, moving on. Now we get into the fun part. His arm features and where he can pose his arms. And basically, his fe key features... One of his key features was the... Let me just split his arms apart here for you guys. Was his able to do that. Just like in the movies and the, and the trilogy, he's able to bring out from two arms, he can go to four arms, and then he's got his assembly of lightsabers right there. Which is great. I think that's, they captured that really well. And the shoulder blade, I will say this about it. It's useful for if you want to bend his arms just a little bit forward or a little bit back. Because his arms can go pretty much almost all the way around his body. Or his upper half right there. So bend it back. I apologize for the numerous traffic. Just my neighborhood. They really love me here apparently. And I've got traffic coming back and forth all day. So they did do a nice job on the lightsabers. They made them one solid piece. Well, one solid blade, I should say, and then the lightsaber hilt is just a one-by-one one, um, connector and the specialized lightsaber hilt. And those just click right into his hands. And, and like I said, he does come with uh, two of each color, one, two blue and two green. Um, when, he's got his, when he's in two-arm um, stance, I apologize. When he's in his two-arm stance, he can either dual wield, um, like Darth Maul, except on a much higher scale, or you can put two away, and he can use two. The other thing I thought they could have done was somewhere on him to holster, so somewhere like around here or something. Because what I've been doing is I've been taking the lightsabers that I'm not using for videos or whatever and putting them in between two stud, um, two sprocket and or ball joints right in there. And I've been doing that. And I'm like, okay, this kind of looks weird because he looks like he's being like invisibly stabbed from behind with his own lightsabers. Or a Jedi is coming up behind him and stabbing him with his own lightsabers. Um, so they should have added something to that that would have made it a little bit um, like so he had somewhere to put his lightsabers when he's not using them. The other fact, like factor, I guess you could say, is his head. This head is like the most remarkable Lego head or Lego Hero Factory head I have ever seen. I mean, its detailing is freaking amazing. It's got really sleek details. They captured his eyes just right, his head plates, whatever you want to call them. They did that all just right. They really did everything very nicely, and I am impressed with 
the head at the most part. All right, that wraps it up. Um, this was General Grievous by Lego. Um, God, they got licensing from Disney apparently. They've actually had that for the Pirates of the Caribbean sets and all that. But I thought you guys really enjoyed this set, and you might want to watch this video. Um, before you go out and purchase one of your own, I forgot to mention earlier on, he is about $30 for everything. He's a very, if you're on a budget like I am currently, um, he's a very expensive set. Um, not compared to some of the $60 ones I've seen out there, but close enough. So that was General Grievous, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please click like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.